So I'll give the floor to Professor Takenaka. Thank you. The three days uh, really passed very quickly. I think time flies when you're having fun. We're at the closing session. Uh, this uh, forum is not the kind where you can expect a single conclusion, uh, but uh, rather uh, we want to look back on what happened uh, over the last three uh, days, remind ourselves of the things that were discussed so that you will take, have some takeaway messages. What shocked me is this. Uh, we had many uh, sessions over the last three days. We'll have the summaries later. Uh, last uh, week in Tokyo, the cabinet reshuffling uh, took place. And this week, uh, the very first Industrial Competitive Council was held after the cabinet reshuffle, and prime minister was there. Uh, and uh, GDP uh, growth uh, to be raised by 1%. What can be done? And uh, today, I talked to Nanjo. Uh, uh, he was asking, what are we? And so I saw a big gap between what was discussed at that uh, uh, government uh, uh, advisory council and here. Uh, so uh, I think that's how inclusive, how generous, uh, uh, encompassing uh, this forum is. In addition to the sessions uh, within uh, this uh, forum, we had some side events as well. So I'd like to ask uh, the members of the program committee, uh, since uh, we were assigned uh, certain themes or areas, so I'd like to ask each member to uh, recap the discussions that took place. And i also like to ask the most impressive thing uh, that you took away, or if there's any message that you would like to send out. So starting uh, with uh, Joey. Bio uh, was a topic uh, that's been taken up several times in the past. Could be philosophical, could be technical, and for the first time this year, uh, for example, uh, Jessica talked about uh, the relationship with architecture and town management of Mori Building and science and technology. I think we're very cleverly linked, although that was not our intention. So we were able to look at the whole scale from the microbial scale to theoretical, uh, scale, uh, something philosophical to down on earth, everyday thing. Maybe uh, that was uh, just uh, accidental, uh, but uh, uh, we were able to really have a very good discussion, uh, contrary to the concerns that I had before we started the forum. Bio uh, was the main theme, the very abstract concept, and the issues with city are linked I think uh, was a discovery. I think he spoke for uh, many of you here. Any symbolic things, one or two? Well, Jessica earlier touched upon it a little. Uh, if we take away all of the micros, make it very clean, that's really bad for your health. There are many good guys in uh, microbes, uh, the good microbes. Uh, which is important for the health of the city as well, and uh, individual behaviors. And in air conditioner designs, uh, that would have an effect, uh, is one of the things that she talked about. And I think that would have an immediate impact, although she talked about the hospitals. Uh, if we apply that thinking to this room, I think uh, the thinking there is exact opposite of the conventional thinking. So I think we can expect further evolution next year and the year after. Thank you. Uh, this will have an immediate impact, could be short term, and I really look forward to how this would translate into further discussions in the future. So uh, Nanjo-san, I think you focused on design this year. Uh, any takeaways from that design session, if there are any? Oh, it's this design as well. What are we going to design? What are the questions that I had set before we started? But rather talking about discussion, we talked about things that are much broader than that. 
So what are the issues for design? Uh, is one challenge that we all have in mind, but at the same time, in this real world, in this society, as we live uh, today, what are the issues uh, we're often raised? Now, is design art? I don't think, or is this design or is this art? That question in itself uh, is irrelevant and pointless. Uh, it doesn't have much meaning. Uh, there's no much significance in defining that. Uh, like Van Gogh, some people might say that his works are not art, or Renoir, uh, Impressionism. Back then, people uh, criticized what they were uh, doing. They said, it's not art. Who decides art? Is it time, era, or is that something that is decided on uh, the consensus or contextual? Uh, if that's the case, we can't say that this is not art, this is not design. Because after all, there are many people who are engaged in very exciting activities. And uh, maybe labeling could be done after the fact by the scholars. So in that sense, uh, the biggest challenge for design is what is the principle uh, principle. What will be the basic principle? I don't think there is one single answer. We often, many times, we're talking about diversity, diversity in values, a diverse environment. In this context, it's something that we all need to strive uh, with some particular issues, challenge in mind, and I think that's the reality of design. However, there. Are was well, so one question that uh, we overlooked initially, and someone pointed out, who does the design, and for whom should we design? I think depending on the question, answers to these questions, there are uh, that, a lot of changes. There were two sessions during the evening's uh, special sessions of, of the Japan Foundation, and they talked about the community networks and also design for disaster risk reduction. Those are very much practical uh, discussion with all pe many people uh, from the field to present, for instance, about uh, uh, disaster risk reduction initiatives being taken here in Japan. And uh, uh, the, it was an, an, uh, highly moving to me. And I thought that it can be uh, one of the designs in a way. And last but not least, I, an image that I grasped is the following. Bacteria uh, all over inside the subway trains in New York. I was shown that image, and I realized, oh, this is the reality. If you are nervous, you wear uh, plastic uh, gloves to hold on anything in the subway. But it's almost uh, meaningless to do that, even do the do so because we are constantly exposed to microbes and some some are the good guys and the majority of them are bad guys that's a reality and we are exposed to them so i being on this stage looking at the audience you almost look like an, an in numerous uh, microbes i'm sorry to say that but um, that's the image so the point I would like to make with that is that it is so difficult to uh, decide just one single set of rules with such diverse people. And even in this room, there is a high diversity of people in this audience. Outside of this building, outside of the land, there is a vast ocean. So Mori, Mori Buildings builds business. It's so complex to build, uh, construct the buildings to cater to the, those diversity. And that's applicable for any design. That's the image and the feeling that I had. Thank you very much, Nan Chosen. And uh, I myself uh, had uh, for five years and uh, classes uh, at Keio University funded by Mori Building. And uh, we were co lecturer uh, with Nan Chosen. And uh, at the very uh, cl first class, he said, Nan Chosen said, art cannot be defined. And he uh, just two minutes ago, Nan Chosen said, uh, design cannot be defined. So that's really Nan Chosen like conclusion, I would say. Nan Chosen, I would like to ask you when it comes to the uh, urban design, many people ask about what of 
urban design here in Tokyo. Well, um, many times in that, this type of questions, uh, the definition is quite narrow, but how would you say? Well, uh, I would like to have more contrast. You mean more diversity? Yeah, more contrast and also uh, downsize, but more green. I think uh, Tokyo could be uh, that type of city. It is. It has sprawled too much so far. Ito-san, in Ito-san's Media Lab, you are addressing uh, science, technology, art, and design, and integrating all of them, and that uh, address uh, exploring a whole new universe. Do you have any comment about the design that we've been talking about now? Yes. Once again, in the diversity, well, it is true that it is difficult to define what is design, but by defining, we can start discussing about it. That's also true. Again, I would say that design and science are now being connected to each other. This is the very first time in the his, our history. Some generation back, uh, we, when we ask uh, scientists to of the two or three generation back uh, about the design, uh, they say, oh, yes, uh, we need to have some drawings. But uh, nowadays, when we talk to uh, uh, young scientists, they are saying that they, too, are designers. Uh, they are saying that themselves. So s design uh, is now much more utilized in the chemical chemical or research and scientific research. And I think uh, uh, all the students of our media lab at the uh, MIT Medium uh, Lab think that they are all designers. So this has become such t a hub. When we go to Europe, the uh, summit of design is the architecture. When you are called designer, uh, the, some people don't like it. Oh, I'm not a designer. I'm an architect. Well, Negro Ponte uh, uh, has come back from his background of architecture, and we have we are we have an act architecture department. Well, I studied uh, in Boston for some time, and at that time, the image of MIT was really a techy uh, university. Harvard had a much more uh, green and artistic. MIT was very much mechanical in our perception back then. Ma but today, MIT has a very very art artistic campus. Well, I think Ito-san uh, uh, contributed to that. So from a very um, mineral type of environment, you have evolved into this current settings and environment, which is uh, can be called very design. What was the process that you have been through? Well, MIT use was created as a uh, research institute uh, to study on the science and uh, Actual topics were pretty much determined by the interests of the government uh, uh, at different times. So that was a nuclear power, uh, ato atoms, and uh, mechanical industrial topics in, at many times. So it used to be mechanical. Then it was followed by uh, electronics, then a computer, IT, internet, software. Uh, at the with the current o Obama administration, bioscience, brain, and design are much more uh, incorporated into the program. So uh, there has been uh, in the U.S. as well, like in the U.S., has been uh, uh, there has been a shift toward their culture, and also uh, businesses are funding those researches, uh, shifting toward uh, culture, and also some wealthy people are donating for that type of research as well. So, so when did it start? Uh, when did that change occur. I'm very much interested because I am an economist. It is I, I would like to know uh, the correlation with the economic changes or the boom and downturn or perhaps at the end of the court wall. Do you mean specifically about uh, MIT's uh, Media Lab? Yes. Well, with Nicolas ne Negroponte, we there was a Drum Wisner president back then who was working with ne Nicolas Negroponte and. Uh, he was the first president doing both art and science at uh, the first uh, year program. And as a result of that, Nicolas uh, led to create this media lab. Nicolas uh, was um, 
a very much um, talented young professor at that time, and his talent uh, drew uh, in ten attention of the president, and as a result of that, Media Lab was created. Well, thank you very much, Ichikas, and you have wa waited so long. Thank you very much. Uh, you uh, s squarely addressed uh, urban issues, and as w it has already become a ritual during the uh, Innovative City Forum, uh, Institute for Urban Strategy of the Mori Memorial Foundation is, uh, makes announcement of the Global Power City Index 2015. It was done two days ago this year, and it was covered uh, in a great deal by the press and J J Japan. Uh, Tokyo's uh, ranking in a comprehensive ranking was four. So in this forum, uh, we haven't had any opportunity to gr Directly touch upon this GPCI index. So, uh, Ichikasan, could you please uh, share with us uh, for a few minutes about this uh, GPCI and then uh, talk about the session that you led in the uh, forum? Well, I would like to ask many questions to the, the, uh, the two uh, uh, people, but I would like I need to say a few words about the GPCI. Two days ago, we uh, conducted a press uh, conference to announce the, uh, the this year's uh, GPCI index and the global rankings. And uh, there is, uh, Tokyo is full. That uh, that some press told that the Tokyo has been always fourth ranking. Starting from last year or so, there have been a lot of changes, particularly uh, because of the twin Olympics and Paralympics uh, decided to be hosted in Tokyo in 2020. So we were, were having some expectation to see uh, Tokyo in higher ranking, but it uh, ended up uh, at full ranking. Uh, Unfortunately, so there are a lot of indicators. The uh, uh, the, the characteristics of this indi uh, index is that it is not focusing on any uh, specific uh, uh, groups of indicators such as finance uh, or e economy. There are six groups of indicators uh, which are very much compre comprehensive. Currently, London is the top ranking. New York is two, and th Paris is uh, Paris three. And for Tokyo is four. Uh, Tokyo and Paris have been competing with each other. Uh, and Singapore is the fifth, but Singapore is now approaching uh, the rank of Tokyo with the higher scores than previously. So, so Sing Singapore and other countries are also uh, going up uh, the ranks. And Tokyo uh, will, uh, how will it change toward the Olympic year? Uh, 2012 when London uh, held the Olympics. After that, London became number one, and since then, London has been strong. So then, let's take a look at um, a comparison between London and Tokyo. Well, if Tokyo is going to change with the Olympics, uh, what is the same with London? What is different uh, with London? Uh, can we see a graph? Yes, this one. Uh, among the six um, areas, economy, R&D, uh, cultural interaction, livability, environment, and accessibility. There are six functions uh, to look at a city. Right now, Tokyo and London, the biggest difference between the two is uh, first in accessibility, accessibility from overseas. And cultural interaction is um, of course, includes whether tourists visit the city or not, and also whether the city is ready uh, to accept a culture from overseas. Uh, is there a system? And I think Tokyo lacks here. So uh, the difference between the f first and fourth place is re really great. So with um, the remaining less than five years, Tokyo, um, will it go uh, going to uh, grow and develop uh, to uh, go beyond London. Uh, we are hoping that uh, Tokyo go up, goes up the rank. Uh, we haven't had that yet. It may take more time. I think that's w uh, the essence of this announcement of, of the uh, Global Power City ranking. So um, the Mori Memorial Foundation webpage will also carry this information. There is also a data book on this. So I do hope that you can utilize this data uh, when you think about uh, the city and its issues, uh, and because it's made for that purpose, I do hope that you utilize this. Now, um, Ichikawa-san, so any comments about what you've been hearing, and also a little bit about the session that you've um, led? Well, l ranking top is London, second New York, fourth Paris, uh, third Paris, fourth Tokyo. New York and London, uh, 
we had people attending from these two cities for our discussion, and the point here was um, the urban space, how will it change? Uh, microorganism and art, that was really interesting, but we are um, in the area of archi architecture, and the biggest theme here is um, about making things, about creating the urban space. What do we make? And then we start the discussion. So. So what's interesting and what we really do is totally different. So uh, if I discuss things with Mr. Nanjo, we will never uh, find that our roads really uh, cross. But uh, we want to create the best things. And uh, concerning the session, we had two, actually. One was on internationalization or globalization. Um, what is the identity of a city in this globalizing and internationalizing world? You have uh, skyscrapers everywhere. Uh, cities are uh, looking alike. How do we create the identity of a city? And that was in diversity. I do believe Tokyo has diversity. I said that because you have different spaces. You have different and various spaces. But two of the people were uh, social scientists. Uh, Sharon is here, and Yoshimi-san were social scientists. And marut san and myself are the architects and urban planners. So diversity it could mean different um, in different um, disciplines. And I think discipline here is also di different. We use diversity a lot. But uh, we tend to say that diversity means variety. But Sharon talked about authenticity. What is authentic? That's the starting point. And you have to look back at history and culture to look at the landscape today. And that will also be what creates the future identity of that city. That was the a very optimistic conclusion that we came to. And in the second session, uh, we looked at what is happening in New York and London, and also specifically think about what should happen here in Tokyo. So we may be doing the same things, but we still may look alike. We may be very different. So the to future of Tokyo and New York and London's future the public space, what do we do about public space? That was one theme. Uh, for example, Times Square. Uh, if you go to Times Square, it was dangerous, but now it's become very safe. Uh, how did that come about? So the public space, how do we create that and utilize that in the urban space? That was uh, one issue that came up. In the United States, especially in Washington or in other major cities, um, they are changing. New York is also changing. The skyscrapers uh, were in lower Manhattan in the south, the cent uh, south of Central Park. Now we have these pencil-type skyscrapers in this area, 57th Street. And I said that this uh, structure of space is now strange. Uh, but uh, New York Times' Kimmel Asan said that, well, this is public. You can't say uh, the usage is strange, and that really surprised me. That was kind of an eye-opener for myself. Now, in London, uh, they are trying to limit the height of the buildings. But uh, uh, London is trying to think about how to utilize the space on the ground. So public space uh, usage um, is very meaningful in London and also in, no in New York. So I think this is a big theme for Tokyo. This has been a theme um, in Tokyo. Uh, because there is no plaza type things in Jap Japanese cities. But what can we bring to Tokyo? And in a different session, uh, in these different sessions, uh, we learned that Tokyo has a lot to think about going ahead. Now, what we find not in Tokyo but in other cities is people of different income levels are living in different spaces. and. That came about in New York and London over a long history. But here in Tokyo, that's not uh, the case. Uh, we didn't come to a conclusion uh, about what to do about this, but uh, we should learn from um, other cities. I think that was the only conclusion that we can uh, come up to here. So 
I think Nanjo-san and Ichikawa-san agreed that they had different uh, perceptions and understanding about diversity. Um, I think that is one thing. Uh, but the urban issues, um, I have been talking about this from the economic perspective, but uh, it's about poverty, it's about congestion, it's about uh, crime. And if we think about this, I believe what we've discussed today concerning design and biotechnology, I think these are really shedding new light on the news um, aspect. So you talked about the ranking of Tokyo, but uh, bio design and also concerning ranking. If you have any comments or advice about what uh, Tokyo should do, uh, well, Negro Ponte and Nic Nicholas uh, talked about uh, diversity at the beginning, but it is very important uh, from different aspects. And it seems like people are saying different things, but uh, if you uh, – diversity is very important from the uh, evolutionary aspect, and I – this is C. diff, uh, a stuffed uh, – C. diff, actually. Uh, this is a bad microbe that comes out when diversity is lost from our, our intestines, and we can't reverse this. And if we lose diversity, uh, we become uh, very rigid. Um, we have the problem of the Islamic State in the Middle East. Uh, Sidif and uh, Islamic State are very similar, I believe, because uh, without diversity, culture is lost, and you have culture that can only be nurtured in such a situation. Here in Japan, we have a lot of diversity, but we need to create more diversity in certain areas. So in order to make better culture, as we've seen in the first survey that was carried out, uh, cultural diversity is very important. So I ho do hope that in the diet uh, you, you can uh, discuss this. Yes, um, that is a very big issue and challenge that Tokyo and Japan is facing. Diversity will include um, immigrants, about gender, um, and this is also linked to specific economic issues. So the executives in co major companies, we need to have diversity there. Yes, diversity of cities. When we talk about uh, diversity of cities, as Ichikawa-san said, it's, it sounds as if you're talking about the shape of the city being different, but it's about the people living in that city being diverse. Well, the perception may be different from person to person, well, yes, I thought that this was going to happen in this discussion. So when you measure cities, I don't think it's about box. What's important is the people who live in those box. So looking at those parameters, I thought what was uh, surprising or hard to understand is Singapore is quickly catching up. I know they are doing their work. And uh, I know I have many friends there. And we had a Biennale twice there as well. But um, I find it difficult to uh, understand why Singapore is better than in Tokyo, and like, especially the cultural areas. Could be that you're using the bad indicators. No, I think the answer is very simple. Uh, I have uh, a design background, so I think uh, we uh, have uh, uh, similarities. So it's a matter of where you draw the line and uh, what you measure. Uh, in ranking, we are just picking some of the uh, aspects. Uh, in the World Economic Forum uh, earlier, uh, uh, the theme was how many uh, cities uh, are there? 150 in the world. And GPCI, uh, we are uh, on the top ranking. Why? Because 
the Tokyo Metro Department and Japan are using this uh, indicator uh, for the policy planning. There are 150 uh, city ranking systems, uh, and uh, there are only 70 indicators that we are looking at. Uh, but when you compare based on those selected items, uh, this is the result. So it's a tool. It will give you a point of reference. People like ranking. And with you have to keep that in mind. So there's nothing to worry about, nothing to be afraid of. The World Economic Forum in the university uh, ranking MIT went over Harvard and made headlines. Right. So not just on Singapore. It's a, a it's a country with great diversity. When we look at the uh, foreigners living in Japan, is only 1.5%. Uh, in Singapore, it's 37%. So when it comes to diversity, it, uh, you know, uh, Singapore is ahead of us. It has multifaceted uh, aspects. Uh, we don't want to go into ranking. We don't have time for that. So again, I'd like to ask you in the audience. Uh, we are talking about uh, different potentials of the cities. So I'd like to ask you once again, when we look at the cities in the world, do you think collectively cities are moving in the right direction, or do you think the issues are becoming more serious? I know that there are different types of cities uh, in the world. So now I'd like to ask you to raise your hand. Who thinks that cities are moving in the right direction? Who are optimistic? Thank you. Who thinks that issues are becoming more serious, more problematic? And I think it's 60-40. I think 60% uh, of the people uh, felt more optimistic, according to my accounting. So when we asked this question on day one, this was the result. Can you uh, bring it up? It was exactly the same, 50-50 on day one. And uh, of course, different samples I know, uh, but it looks like we are getting a little bit more optimistic as uh, after three days of discussions, if I could say so myself. Okay, we are the members of the program committee. We are very friendly amongst ourselves, and yet we had diverse opinions and comments. One issue is this, science and technology versus art and design. Which should we place, uh, should we place more emphasis on? Of course, it's being synthesized. It's becoming uh, converged. But I'm going to ask you, art and design versus science and technology. Uh, who do you think, or uh, who, uh, what should be the focus uh, of the cities going forward? Science and technology should be the focal points. How many of you think that way? How about art and design? That should be the focus. Uh, maybe 2080? Again, we asked the same question on day one, and this was the result. In 2013, it was almost 50-50, but uh, on Wednesday, it was 60-40. Now it's 80-20. So over the last three days, uh, you uh, became more biased towards art and design. We're really running out of time. So we only have time for just one question or one comment from the floor. Any message from any one of you? No? These guys on the stage are going to speak if you don't speak. OK. Please be brief. Brevity is appreciated. Look, I just want to convey our thanks because we thoroughly enjoyed the last three days. I came here for World Economic Forum Roundtable, and some of the issues discussed in this conference and forum was extremely important for cities around the world. So I just want to convey our thanks on behalf of all of us. 
since no one spoke. And it has been really, really interesting to see how Tokyo is leading the word debate, at least in one area which I witness, the aging societies. And okay. it's a tremendous contribution you're making to the word cities. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for very strong encouragement. <laughs> okay. So, we're really coming to an end, and uh, maybe uh, we can ask each person to say just one sentence to close. Professor Ichigo, well, actually, I was hoping I'll have more time so that we can have real discussion and argument with Nanjo-san. That's your comment? Yes. That's my one-liner. Nanjo-san? Thank you for your support. Art and design, thank you guys. How do you look at humans? I think is the question. Uh, we talked about psychology earlier. I think human psychology is a very important parameter. Scientifically, it's very difficult to measure, but I know it's very uh, important. And how do you design that, I think, is the challenge. Uh, the same comment that I made earlier. This conference, you know, we don't need to change everyone's mind. If you reach a critical mass, then you can change the mindset of society. So the overall picture uh, that uh, we had in this forum, you know, uh, people have uh, the image of Japan being uh, siloed. Uh, but uh, I think uh, we are seeing the synthesis, synthesis, uh, synthesis of different discussions. Thank you for that beautiful conclusion. And I'd like to thank you all for uh, your participation over the last three days. Of course, uh, in a fora like this, speakers are important, but active participation of the audience is important as well. I think this was really a collaborative work, creative, diverse, and forward-looking conference. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank everyone before I close. Thank you so very much. Thank you.